Wolson may be a hot mess, but that shouldn't stop you from continuing your experience in the endgame. Hey there folks, it's Kodiak here, back for another video, and today we're assuming the mantle of Champion of Stormfall and taking the fight to the enemy. After around 50 hours of endgame grinding, what's clear is that Wolson has a lot of work to do. From buggy encounters to broken passives, the game is far from complete, but that didn't stop me from enjoying my time with the game. That being said, the end game is an entirely new beast, and if you're anything like me, ARPGs aren't your natural environment, so I put together a roadmap for new players looking to experience the end game in all its buggy glory. First things first, understanding what the end game actually entails. You'll have the option to do three things right from the very start. As the champion of Stormfall, you're tasked with rebuilding the city. You'll have the option to spend resources, gold, primordial affinity, and productivity to create structures that provide various benefits as you push further into the endgame. Things like the Seeker's Garrison, which allow you to send scouts out on missions to collect gold, items, and primordial affinities are a good way to offset some of the cost of rebuilding. While other upgrades like the Primordial Institute are just character upgrades aimed at helping you reach further into the endgame. No matter how you choose to approach the endgame, making sure you have projects constantly queued up is key. By upgrading the Stormfall Palace, you can increase the number of projects you are actively working on, which is a huge benefit considering some projects may take you hours to complete. We plan on covering this part of Wilson in another video, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Once you've got some projects assigned, it's time to start planning some dungeon diving. That build you are using in story mode may have gotten you through the first three bosses, but most likely you'll have to change it up if you hope to tackle expeditions. There are a couple great resources to help you get started. Wilson Universe, a fan-made site, is a great place to learn about other players' builds and design a build of your own without the stress and cost of respecking. The Steam Community Hub is another great place to get information. While everything should be taken with a grain of salt, try and read up on some of the most popular build guides and get a sense for what's working in the game and what's not. If the numbers are too overwhelming and you just want to get to the action, that's fine too, but setting yourself up for success now will mean less of a struggle later on. Once you've chosen a build to focus on, you'll most likely need to re-gear and retool. Now is the perfect time to spend the resources on respecting your character. Even if you're in love with your story build, you've most likely made a few mistakes along the way. Now is the perfect opportunity to reset both your attributes and your gates of fate and build towards an end game build. Once again, if you don't have a clue where to start, I recommend you check out Wilson Universe and the Steam Community Hub. There are some incredible build guides already up there that can help give you a clear sense of direction. So you're ready to go. You've got your research project selected, your build all squared away, and you're ready to hit the dungeons. At this point, you have two options, mandates and expeditions. Mandates are quick, one-map dungeons aimed at players that don't have a lot of time on their hands. You click on the board, a portal opens, and you complete the objective laid out once inside the dungeon. The problem with mandates is that you really don't get a lot in terms of rewards. It's a paltry sum compared to the much more rewarding expeditions. Expeditions include up to three dungeon maps of increasing difficulty. Players will need to clear a certain number of mobs before a boss becomes active. If you kill the boss, two portals open, one to take you to Stormfall, the other to keep journeying deeper into the dungeon. If you decide to return to Stormfall after completing a floor, you'll gain a decent reward, but die during your adventures and you'll lose out on that prize. You will get to keep the items you've scavenged along the way, so it's not a complete waste, but that grand prize of productivity and gold will keep the Stormfall renovations moving forward. If you have the time, focus on expeditions. They're worth the extra investment and the only way to really dive deeper into the endgame. If you are having trouble, try teaming up with a friend or two. Just make sure you're the party leader so you can set the level of the challenge. That's the only way you'll be able to progress further into harder expeditions. Before we wrap up, I wanted to hit you with some quick tips and pitfalls I experienced during my time with Wilson's Endgame in hopes that they may save you some time and frustration. First up, make sure you have every skill unlocked. I realized way too late in my adventures that I didn't have Infinity Blades, and all I had to do was go to Demetra. In the grand scheme of things, 2,000 gold isn't that much, so make sure you have every tool available before trying to take on Wilson's most challenging content. Additionally, don't waste money on gems. The end game is littered with them, and because there is no upgrade system, once you reach a new tier, you're free to get rid of any of the older ones. If you hold on to everything like me, you'll have a vault slot filled with useless gems you'll never use. 
Finally, you have to spend some time understanding the gates of fate. This is critical. It can be a bit overwhelming, but learning the intricacies of each calling is incredibly important. You'll need to start branching out away from pure builds sooner rather than later, and understanding how different callings synergize is crucial. As I mentioned before, build guides are a fantastic way to get a base of knowledge, but nothing can replace sitting down and spending some time with the chart yourself. Wilson is still in a weird place, with plenty of bugs that need fixing and a bunch of balancing issues that will most likely get squared away in the coming weeks and months. If you are still having fun with the game and want to be part of our growing Wilson community, we invite you to join Legion Gaming on Discord. Join our family of over 2,500 gamers from around the world and connect with people who just love games. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legion Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on.